We've, if you live long enough, if, if you're on the sunny side of 20 or on the dark side of 20, you've lived long enough that there's some stuff you did that you really ain't proud of. There's some stuff you've done that you wish if I could do it all over again, if I knew then what I know now, I wouldn't have done that. Well, praise be to God. God has given us the opportunity through Jesus Christ to even straighten that out. You, you must be born again. Also, this word anothen not only means go back to the beginning, but it also means something that comes from above. So when Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born again, Nicodemus was thinking about, wait a minute, I got to go back to the womb and do that all over again? But what Jesus was saying was that you must be born from above. You must be born of the water and of the spirit. In other words, what is flesh had to come through the water. But if you're going to be born of the spirit, the spirit's got to put his hands on you. And the only way the spirit can lay hands on you is that God has to allow his spirit to come down from on high, touch you and turn your life around. The big issue is, is that we got some folks who just ain't been touched from above. Now, some of them touched. They just ain't been touched from above. Well, 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 somebody might ask the question, okay, uh, that's what it means to be born again, but, but why do we need to be born again? Well, let's go back to the text. Let's, let's go to verse 6. Verse 6, Jesus said, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Well, 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 I, 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 I don't understand. What, what are you saying? See, there's a lot of stuff that we do that if we're truthful and if we're honest, we do it in Jesus' name, but it's born of the flesh. We got folks doing stuff and out there functioning and happening and operating that the Lord going to say, yeah, that was nice that you did that, but I didn't tell you to do it. It's amazing to me when I see churches, if one church starts a soup kitchen, then the church around the corner figure, well, we're going to start a soup kitchen too. Then the church down the street said, well, then we ought to do a soup kitchen. Before you know it, you got all these churches with soup kitchens when you need something else in the community. Believe me, my brothers and sisters, there's enough to do in our community in this place that all of us ain't got to replicate one another. Somebody can have a food pantry. Somebody else can have a tutorial program. Somebody else could have a parenting program. Somebody else could have a clothing bank. We don't all have to do the same thing. If we just do our piece, if we do what the Lord leads us to do, before we know it, all the bases are covered. The problem is we got too much stuff that's born of the flesh. That is, we do what we want to do and not what God told us to do. That's why Jesus made it plain. He said, that which is of the flesh is flesh. Y'all with me? That which is born of the spirit is spirit. Well, how do you know if it's born of the flesh or if it's born of the spirit? Well, you know, one of the interesting things about it, if it's born of the spirit, you know, usually you probably don't have the resources to do it. Most folks will say, well, we can't do that because we don't have the money. We don't have the people. We, don't have, we always go with the we don't have. But I submit to you, my brothers and sisters, if it's born of the spirit, if God told you to do it, God is of, under the obligation to provide everything that you need. If God gives a vision, he will give the provision. See, 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 we, 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 we need to be born again because if we just start doing the stuff that we think we ought to do, we'll never reach the full potential that God has laid out for us because we're not moving beyond our comfort zone. It gets to be difficult when we're telling folk, okay, let's, let's, let's do this, but we can't see that. If you see it, that's, that, that might be of the flesh. We have to be mindful what is God saying to us. 
You see, the, 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 the Bible made it crystal clear that, uh, of, of why we needed to be born again. In Romans 3 and 23, the Bible says that there is no one who is righteous, not one single person. For all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. See, see God loves us. And, and, and he wants us to have that opportunity to be redeemed. And he knew the only way he could do it, that he had to make a way. We need to be born again. Well, how can I be born again? You know, some folks say, well, uh, I believe in God. Isn't that enough? Well, you know, the Bible says the devil and the demons believe, too. That don't mean they're going to be saved. See, I can believe this chair will hold me if I sit in it. But if I don't ever act on that belief, I'll just be standing up. See, we, 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 we just can't believe that God is out there and believe that God is the sovereign of the universe. We have to take that belief and we have to move with that belief. We, 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 we have to act on that belief. We, we, we have to understand that, that, that faith in Christ is that point in our lives where we admit that we are sinners when we know that Jesus died and rose again for us but it's more than understanding who we are. It's more than understanding what Jesus did. It's taking the gift and putting it on. 